Okay, in chapter 10, um, I'm supposed to say which of the following uh, is a set of elements. Um, is a set of elements in this mathematical system. So this really should be broken up for you uh, to make it clear. So you got the square. Uh, it should have lines here. These are the elements up top, A, B, C, and D of the system. Okay. So if you're new to this topic, talking about elements of a system, like uh, we we have the... Uh, we have elements in our system of mathematics where we can add them and subtract them. They're numbers, right? One, two, three, four, and five. In mathematics, we get them even more broad. Instead of just talking about numbers, we're just talking about elements in some sort of system that aren't necessarily numbers. So you got A, B, C, D. And the reason why I drew these lines in is because it's important to note that what, what the system is trying to say is that uh, there's some operation that's a square operation, okay? Like you're familiar with the plus operation, the addition operator, uh, subtraction, division. Okay, now we have a new operation that some aliens made up or something, okay? It's a square operation. We don't need to know exactly what it would do if we put numbers in the system. Uh, we just need to know how it interacts with other elements of the system. But for this question, they just say, which of the following is a set of elements in this mathematical system? A, B, C, and D are elements. Um, is it so? Oh, this one is a set of elements as well. Uh, which one? Which of the following is this? Is it should say the set probably? Okay, I don't need to repeat. A, B, C, and D is a set. B, C, and D is too. Huh. Should say not, shouldn't say a set of elements. This question should say which of the following is the set of elements. So maybe I can, maybe I'm missing something, but if it's a mistake, I want to submit a ticket. Okay, so uh, talking about those aliens, <laughs> excuse me, talking about those aliens again. So this is five alien operation six, okay? Uh, so I think it's okay to read the table if you want to start columns to rows, but really, I, usually things go rows is the first operation, columns is the second. So again, they've dropped those rows and columns distinguishers four five six seven this is what it should look like four five six seven okay so five alien symbol six means take five and then see where it matches up with six in the columns so take five see where it matches up it ends up with a five okay that's all it is it's like like a very, very complicated battleship. <laughs> Let's see what else we can run into here. So more alien logic. And again, it should have, it should be distinguishing rows and columns. Like the, this is the top row and then a line and then the column over here, there's a line over here. So R, like funny minus symbol R means find where R is in the rows then find where R is in the columns and they match up to make the letter S. That's it. Okay. Uh, which of the following is the binary operation of this mathematical system? Again, lines going across here is like kind of the header for the row and the column. So what the table, what you should imagine this table looks like is J, K, L, dot, 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 and then J, K, L with a distinguishing line here. J and J match up with letter N, right? J and K match up with the letter L, etc. Okay, so which of the following is the binary, meaning two, the two operation of this mathematical system? This is the operator, okay? The op uh, a binary operator, like plus is a binary operator because it takes two things and combines them somehow. Like division's a binary operator, anything that takes two elements and combines them. In this case, the alien symbol is that funny looking triangle. Uh, let's see if I need to pause the video. Yeah, so we're getting on a new topic here, so I'll make a new video.